Welcome to ReFilm, it follows a boy Miles and an artificial dog Axel, created for army use, but it runs away and becomes friends with Miles. What kind of power does Axel have? Will Axel be a threat to humanity? Will Miles and Axel get caught by the army? At Crane Systems, a scientist has made an artificial dog Axel, that is very powerful and has many advanced features. It is a very dangerous top secret weapon, that will be used in future wars as it can kill a lot of people. In another scene, a bike race is going on. A boy Miles is also there, whose bike stops due to some problem with the engine. Miles asks for help from the people around him, but they don't help him, because they belong to a rival team participating in the race. A girl Sarah sees that Miles's bike chain is broken, so she gives him the chain for his bike. He takes the chain and resumes the race. He is a very good bike rider, so even after breaking the chain of his bike, he wins that bike race. A boy Sam, invites him home for a party that night. Miles does not like Sam and doesn't want to go to his party, but then he learns that Sarah will also be there, so he decides to go. At the party, he sees that Sam is being very ill-mannered, setting everything on fire for fun. Miles is getting bored at the party, so he goes to see Sam's bike collection. While following Miles, Sarah also arrives there. They have a conversation at Sam's garage. Later, Miles is sitting with his dad, telling him that he doesn't want to live his life like the poor, and wants money. On the other hand, we see the scientist Andrik, who is very worried, because Axel has run away from him, and is nowhere to be found. He receives a call from the army, saying that if they find Axel, then it will be the property of the government, and they will not give it back to him. He asks for two days to find Axel. Andrik must find him, because he was working on Axel illegally. Later, Sam invites Miles to go to the hills with them. Sam says that there they will enjoy doing bike races, as well as making videos and posting them on social media, so others will also like them. As Miles wants to be famous and earn money, and he thinks that Sam only wants to spend a good time with him, he agrees. Reaching there, Sam and Miles start talking. While Miles is busy, Sam's friend pours a soft drink on Miles' bike. Sam's real purpose was to insult and humiliate Miles. Now, all bikers start performing stunts. When it is Miles' turn, before he is able to perform any stunt, his bike slips because of the soft drink, and he falls into a ditch, and his bike also gets damaged. Sam leaves from there without helping Miles. Miles is very angry and wants to get back to the city. He stands up and fixes his bike. When he is about to leave, he sees a very big container, and hears weird voices coming from it. He goes near the container and opens it. On seeing Axel, he gets scared and runs away. Axel starts to chase him. He rides his bike fast and Axel falls down while chasing him. He stops his bike to help Axel. When he goes near Axel, he sees that it is a dog-shaped robot. He starts checking it, and pulls out a rod from it, which makes Axel feel good. Due to Miles' good deed, Axel starts to trust him, and soon they become friends. Miles understands that Axel ran from the place where he was created, due to some reason. Axel starts to behave like a normal dog and plays with him, as they enjoy each other's company. On the other hand, Sarah asks Sam what he has done with Miles. Sam replies by saying, that if she is so worried about Miles, she can go search for him on her own. He tells her the place where they left Miles. The scientist Andrik, is watching Axel and Miles with the help of a camera he installed on Axel. Seeing Axel happily playing with Miles, he says that his dog can live with humans, but the army and government say that it is illegal, because it was a potential threat to human beings. Meanwhile, Sarah gets to the place where Sam had left Miles. Axel and Miles are also there. Axel gets aggressive on seeing Sarah, and runs towards her to attack her. Miles stops Axel from hurting her, by saying that she is his very good friend. They spend the night there, dancing and enjoying with each other. Axel plays music by using its technology. In the morning, Miles puts Axel in the truck and leaves. When they stop at a petrol station, he realizes that he doesn't have any money. Axel hacks the nearby ATM system, and Miles gets some money. They all go to a place, where Sarah shows her painting skills. Axel also shows some installed graphical representations to Miles. On seeing that, Miles understands that Axel is not a normal robot, it was made for the use of the army. He gets a chip from Axel, and with that chip he can completely control Axel. Sam arrives there to tease Miles and Sarah. She asks him to leave. He starts to fight with her, then Miles comes there. Sam is about to hit Miles, when Axel jumps on him and attacks him. The scientist Andrik and his friends are also watching. Andrik's friend asks him to go get Axel before it harms anybody, but the scientist stops him from doing that, to see his reaction to Axel. 
Axel attacks Sam, but he doesn't get hurt. Sam gets scared, and runs away. Sarah tells Miles that her mother works at Sam's house, and now he will do anything to get revenge on Sarah. They leave Axel at that place for some time, and go to tell Miles's dad Chuck about Axel. On the other hand, Sam is very angry. He burns Axel using a flamethrower, makes a video while doing it, and sends it to Sarah. Sarah and Miles leave immediately, but before they reach, Sam burns down Axel. However, Axel gives Miles a location to go to repair him. Sarah and Miles take it to that garage, and start to repair its system. The last stage to fix Axel needs two and a half hours. Andrik gets a log of the location of Axel, so he sends his people to get it back. Two and a half hours get completed, and Axel starts to attack the scientist team. When Sam was burning Axel, it scanned him, and now Axel wants revenge on Sam, so it runs away to find Sam. Axel finds Sam and attacks him. He tries to get rid of Axel by using the same flamethrower. Suddenly the flamethrower runs out of fuel. Axel is looking very angry and is about to attack him. Miles and Sarah get there at the right time and save Sam. After that, some drones are flying right above them. These drones are sent by Andrik to control Axel. They take Axel, and change the settings, and wipe his memory. Axel now becomes evil. When Sarah goes near, Axel does not recognize her, and tries to attack her. So, Sarah makes some signs with her hand, and by seeing that Axel remembers Sarah. Axel understands that Andrik is harming him, so it turns towards Andrik and attacks him. The army and people from the government arrive there, and arrest the scientists for making Axel illegally. The army is about to take Axel, but Sarah and Miles take Axel with them. Sarah then comes out and surrenders, to give time to Axel and Miles to run. They run towards the jungle, while army helicopters start to chase them. They jump from a hill, and Miles falls down and fractures his elbow. He asks Axel to run away, but Axel doesn't want to leave him, but obeys, and it runs away and gets very far. Helicopters are still chasing Axel. Axel decides to destroy itself, because it doesn't want to get destroyed by the army. It is very far from Miles, and to see him for the last time, it zooms into him, whilst uploading all its memories with Miles and Sarah. After seeing Miles for a few moments, messaging him goodbye, Axel destroys itself. Miles witnessed a very huge blast. Six weeks later, Andrik is in jail, and the captain says to him, that Axel's code has resurfaced, and they are expecting it is reactivating itself. The captain asks him what he will do, is he going to destroy Axel again, or reboot it? Andrik refuses to answer. The captain replies to him saying that they really need his help, and then releases Andrik from jail. On the other hand, we see that Sarah and Miles are getting appreciated by everyone. They also get a scholarship from a college, given by the army to buy their silence, and to keep an eye on them. They go to a beach, and Sarah gives Miles an envelope. He opens it and pulls out a short note from his dad. He reads it, then flips the envelope upside down, and the remote to Axel falls out into his hand. Miles shows Sarah the chip he uses to control Axel. When he turns on that chip, he gets a signal that Axel is activating itself, and it will soon return. 